Hey there, it's Mr. Thompson. Going to run through a quick example of a problem, and we're going to find the perimeter of a triangle given the coordinates of the um, vertices of the triangle, the corners. So here's the problem. It's just from uh, our textbook. Okay, there's these points: two, negative two, zero, negative two, five, and one, three. I've called them points one, two, and three. Okay, so what we have to do is find the distance between each of these points. So from 1 to 2, it's really easy, because what you notice is that they have the same x value. So basically, this um, is just a straight line, okay, if we graphed it. And of course, graphing these is, is never a bad idea. I haven't done that here, because I just want to run through it quickly. But if you, um, if you graph those two points, you'll get a straight vertical line. So it's really easy. It just goes from 0 to 5, and so that's a um, length of 5, so that one's easy. The other ones we're going to use Pythagoras theorem. So from 1 to 3, we subtract the y values to get the um, rise or the vertical distance. So 3 minus 0 is 3. And 1 minus negative 2 is 3. Okay, <clears throat> uh, you'll notice I went in the same direction both times from 3 to 1, right? Um, one of the coordinate from here minus the coordinate from there. Okay, and we get 3 for both of those. So uh, we're going to use Pythagoras, so, um, or basically the distance formula, if you're familiar with that. So a squared plus b squared um, is what we're going to do here. We'll, put, we'll get 3 squared plus 3 squared. 3 squared is 9, and of course this 3 squared is 9, so 9 plus 9 is 18. And we take the square root to find that, that length of that segment, and it's about 4.2 units. Okay. Same thing with the from points 2 to 3 with those coordinates. So 3 minus 5 and 1 minus negative 2. Now you could do 5 minus 3 and negative 2 minus 1 if you want. You'll get the same outcome in the end. Um, but um, So here we get 3 minus 5 is negative 2. 1 minus negative 2 is 3. And so we plug those into Pythagoras theorem just like we did before. So negative 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. So 9 plus 4 is 13. Square root of 13 is about 3.6. Okay, so we have these three distances, 5, 4.2, and 3.6. And we're going to add those up, and oh, here's, yeah, I should have gotten rid of those um, extra decimals, but that's okay. Um, it comes out to about 12.8, okay? Um, if you, yeah, if you round these, I should have gotten rid of those, that's okay. I'll get rid of them now. Okay, um, I realized as well, actually for finding the distance, it doesn't matter which order you go in. I could have done 3 minus 0 and negative 2 minus 1, um, but for finding the slope, of course, the um, being consistent there matters. Anyway, if you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and see you next time.